guys see what right behind me, I still have my 2013 ID for budget car. We will get this car up and running soon. And now let's get straight into installing the new Sony Apple CarPlay Android Auto Radio with the bracket for specifically for this car and the dual eco trim removal pieces provided to me. So you can click the links in the description to buy each product and now let's get straight to removing the old radio. And don't forget to always disconnect your battery before touching the electronics of the car. Since my car has an aftermarket radio, your removal sets may be different, although the installation sets will be the same. They're just radio. And since I already removed all the cables out prior, because it took me about a whole good three hours to remove all that junk out of the car, I'm just gonna just pop this out. There we go. I already unplugged it prior, so there's that mess of cables, and we could throw this out. So this car actually had an amplifier. These were the speakers that were connected to the radio. Now let's actually open up the radio and see what we got. And now this is the Sony XAV AX100 with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if we look at the rear back, the ports, it comes with the USB. And there's also a USB extension cord right here. We got the speakers right here. And here's the plugs, an instruction manual. The package contents also come with a remote. Pretty cool, let's see if we can watch a movie. Cables, reverse camera, all that stuff. Wow, that's pretty cool. Be kind of tricky. A microphone. And let's open up the bracket that I bought on Amazon as well. So there are three different setups for this car. One setup is if you're using the OEM radio with OEM speakers. The second setup is using the OEM Bose speakers with the OEM radio. And the third setup is aftermarket speakers, aftermarket radio, which is my scenario, which made things a lot tricky. This is gonna be an interesting connection for this car. My setup may be different because I had an aftermarket amplifier and this is my original one. The original one does not work, so I'm just gonna bypass the amplifier completely. And this is my single DIN right here. And because my car did have the original CD player, this is it and I no longer need it. And this is for the amplifier, which I no longer have. The aftermarket one so we could put that away and this is the speaker cable that plugs into the back of this stock oem amplifier and then from there the speaker cable which is a thick one it's the plug the big plug over there show you a picture of it gets routed inside here and then to each individual speaker of the car so i'm just going to bypass this all together but for you guys all you simply got to do is get this adapter off amazon it was about ten dollars this would be plugging into the speakers right here and then that's it and then you plug this end to the back of the radio unit and that's it because my speaker cable is already cut this isn't the actual speaker cables that is the actual speaker cables so what i did was i routed my speaker cables from there down here i'm going to solder the left and right rear and front speaker wires from the radio unit adapter that plugs in here to there and then i'm going to plug this piece right here from the amazon package that i bought to my single din unit the ground this is the battery this is the illumination this is the 12 acc and the rest i don't really need this is how my speakers are set up the front tweaker is the red and red brown and the passenger front door is the brown and purple and then the rear speaker right here is the brown blue and blue and then the front tweaker right there is the yellow and yellow brown and then the driver's side is the brown green and green and then the rear driver's side is the brown white and white so now i'm going to connect these to that 
it is what it is i made the best out of it this is my solution to my problem but i will change in the future at a nice aftermarket amplifier upgrade the speakers uh, put a nice subwoofer in the car but for now this is just going to stay like this so the following cables are not being used are these uh, extras because I only have a single DIN which I'm going to be using the top one only the bottom one I will not be using I am not going to be using illumination I'm going to route the parking brake wire all the way under this trim and I will use the trim tools provided to me by Dual Eco on Amazon and uh, I have the battery connected I have the 12 ACC connected I have the ground connected I have the speakers connected so with the tweeters I connected the right tweeter and the left tweeter the right tweeter is connected to this speaker and then the left tweeter is connected to that speaker as you guys can see right here it's not the prettiest design I could have done this a lot better but let's just get everything up and running for now now that I was able to put most of the cables in a loom we're now good to go to so start removing the trim. this there's a little gap under here behind this bar and then if I go put my camera back there you can see my fingers that is where the cable harness with the speakers and the radio adapter will all go into <laughs> As much as I would like to show you guys the Apple CarPlay, it's impossible because everybody in this household has an iPhone that's either dead or has an invalid non-original Apple charger which will not work. Third purchase on Amazon was the radio bracket and uh, the cubbies that go on the bottom and here's the instruction manual this thick piece right here it goes on the top and now it's all flushed in let's see what matches with any screws the next thing you're going to do it says right here kit preparation basically follow the instructions i'm going to be skipping steps because like i said my car has been fitted with aftermarket parts so it's time to customize the bracket and cut the borderline right here so that the radio with the bracket can fit in there. With the Dremel I was able to smooth it down. It's alright but it gets the work done and it looks a lot cleaner than it did before. Now let's grab our radio and just slide it in carefully. Now that the radio is fitted we're going to add the brackets to keep it held in place. And now we got the bracket installed right there, as you guys can see. The screw right there, and a screw in the center right there. Look at that perfect fitment. Using heat shrink tube, I was able to wrap the USB for the Android Auto Apple CarPlay, and there it is. And we're gonna move the wire down here. I'm putting the anti-theft device right here. This serves no purpose, but I'm just going to leave it there. Time to clean things up. I'm not going to be using this for audio. Remember, I'm bringing the speakers right here. And the microphone, I am going to be attaching that right now. Here it is. Unfortunately, it's not the same plug as the one the car had with the aftermarket radio. And that's the original location where it was. So you can see the microphone has been routed from that point behind this entire trim using these trim pieces right here i just kept pulling down until i fed it all the way around here now i'm gonna go inside this rubber mesh 
and then under where the glove compartment should be located in this car. Everything is now pushed in and plugged in. Now we're going to tighten all the four screws we taken out and put back these trim pieces. So this car is definitely looking a lot better and it's taking better shape. So with this bracket right here, the center console that goes down here, um, we're not going to be using the original parts. We're going to be using the kit that we bought with this bracket, which came with this and this. I don't need this because I have the AC controls routed down there. So the first thing you're going to do is grab the bracket, put the AC module in there. Then you're going to grab the screws and you're going to just put two screws in there to hold it in place. And then from there, you're going to grab this cover and trim, put it in there. And then after you got that, you're going to put the heat controls if you have that. Now that we have built this, we're going to set that off to the side. Start removing the center console trim. <laughs> Now we are going to locate the parking brake wire. We disconnect the wire right there, pull the tab out, pull out, and then the positive is going to be the solid brown wire. Okay, use heat shrink now. It's, let's plug it back in. Grab each screw, one screw, two screw, and three screw. Now this is how you make a 996 look modern again nice rear LED tail lights a nice aftermarket radio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and it all looks perfectly flushed in place like this is feels really sturdy everything's all working this was just a tutorial on how to install this i will be making a review update in the future with what i think about this radio all the features it has like android auto and apple carplay i also routed the usb cable under the ashtray right here so it's easier for my passengers whoever will be sitting back here to have the usb slash aux whatever and it just makes it easier for movability See, what I like about what I did was you could cover the cable and it's gone. It's disappeared. It doesn't look the best because there's a small gap. It's whatever. Right now, that's what works best. <laughs> this is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more crazy cars and tech content later down the road. Remember, this is my daily car and that is my project car and I do want to get this car running back on the road so I have no idea what I'm going to do with this beautiful modernized 996. Anyways, peace out and see you in the next one.